Dave Ramsey said that the housing market was going to continue to climb year over year for the next five years. They're going to go up every year for the next five years. But now since the data is out, is that still true? Let's react to Dave Ramsey's video who came out a year ago saying that the housing market was going to increase for the next five years straight. Dave Ramsey is a great expert in a lot of things, but you always have to be cautious on if somebody's trying to sell you something that they're going to get paid on like Dave Ramsey. Just look at this post. When you scroll down after he's talking about buying a house, it, there's a link for him to refer you to one of his trusted partners. And guess what? Those realtors have to pay to be a trusted partner. <laughs> so one thing you always got to keep in mind is, is the person giving you advice getting paid for the advice they're giving you from you buying a house? Oh, Lord of mercy. All right, let's talk real estate. A lot of folks are saying, I'm going to sit on the sidelines and wait on buying because house prices are going to go down. Let me help you with this. House prices are caused by one thing and one thing only, supply versus demand. How many houses are for sale versus how many- Dave Ramsey's making money by you guys not sitting on the sidelines. Buyers are fewer in a bad economy, a high interest rate economy. There's fewer buyers, but they have to be less buyers than supply for house prices to go down. That's not going to happen. And interest rates have gone up. Depending on the timelines, they've doubled from what they were. Back in January of 2022, somebody could buy a house for three and a quarter interest rate. Where right now, if you were to go out and buy a house, you're going to be looking at seven and a half percent. And this is for a primary residence. Emotional damage. And if you've been following our channel, you know that every 1% of increase is a 10% decrease in a buyer's purchasing power. Over the year that he's made this video, you've lost essentially 30% of your buying power without having some kind of co-borrower or increasing your down payment. And as you're going to see here, once we get in the data, buyer demand has definitely been squeezed, which has caused our prices to go down. That's not going to happen. Here's the real numbers. Here's data, not feelings. Let's talk this through. Five million more 35-year-olds right now in the millennial generation, prime house buying age, than there were in 2007. 128 million. How much income do millennials have? Yeah, sure, there are some in the tech world, but millennials aren't automatically out there making $250,000 a year, especially here in the Boise market. And talking about data, let's look at the data. Boise, the surrounding Boise area, and just in July's report, Boise has dropped 8.5%. The median sales price a year ago, which this is about a month after he made this video, the median sales price was 590. Now the data is coming out and it says in July of 2023, the median sales price is 540. That's a $50,000 decrease or 8.5% decrease. So that's the data. That's the data. Now, again, keep in mind, I'm not against Dave Ramsey. I don't think he's all bad. There are some good things that he says, but there are some bad things. 128 million households right now in 2007, only 116 million households, 12 million more households operating that need a house. And yet there's a shortage of housing. In 2007, we had 2.1 million new housing starts. This year, we'll have 1.4 million new housing starts. We have 50% as many houses for sale right now as we had in 2007. Inventory is at half. So the number of buyers would have to go down. So yes, I agree that, that housing starts have dropped, but if the demand was still as high as it has been in the past couple of years, then builders wouldn't have to give away incentives. Almost every single builder is giving away anywhere from one to 3% in incentives and some builders even more than that. One builder specifically is giving away $30,000 just for you to come buy their house. And if the demand was still strong, they wouldn't have to be giving away these incentives to get you in the door. And on top of that, they wouldn't be having to cut prices. And if you've been following our channel long enough, you know they've been slashing their prices ever since back in May of 2022. Buyers would have to go down so dramatically before the house market prices go down. It's not gonna happen. I do, again, find this comical that home prices are not going to, it's not going to happen. It's not going to go down. But yet, real estate is area specific. And in our area, it has gone down. And in my opinion, it is going to continue to go down. As house prices went up 32% in 2020, 18% in 2021, 7% this year in 2022. Next year, projected to be a 5% increase. 
So again, even though the projected to be 5% increase in 2022, you know that they've dropped anywhere from 18 to 8% here in the local treasure value market. So again, it's very important that you're not just taking some national stats, but you're looking specific to your area. Because if you use this data and you jumped in and you bought some kind of real estate, there's a good chance that the house is worth less than what you bought it for back in 2022. Matter of fact, if you watch our latest video, we showed a house where they bought it in 2021 and now they sold it for $120,000 less than what they bought it for. So make sure you're not just taking national news, but going down specific to the area that you're thinking about buying. Increase. Every year for the next five years, we're going to have fewer houses for sale than buyers wanting to buy them, driving the price up. House prices are going to go up every year for the next five years. If you're ready to buy, you're in good shape financially, you need to buy now. I have a different opinion than that. If you are in good financial position and you know you want to be in a place and you can plan on being there for the next 10 years and you're okay with your equity in your home potentially going down, then yes, right now is an okay time to buy, but not Nationally, I don't think nationally, with everything going on, credit card defaults going up and the credit card debt exceeding $1 trillion. There's, these are all factors that we have to consider when we're looking at the overall economy. Sure, maybe some sectors in the housing market is doing good, but if the economy starts going and we see unemployment continue to rise, well, then we're going to start seeing foreclosures, which we've already seen car repos going up. With the car repos going up, well, obviously somebody's not gonna pay on their car before they're not paying on their house. So if the repos continue to go up, then that means the housing market is shortly to follow afterwards. So don't just take anybody's advice. Make sure that you're consulting with somebody who is an expert in your area, wherever it is, nationwide. Don't wait on house prices to go down. They're not going down. What goes up must go down. No, it doesn't. I just gave you data, real facts. They're not coming down. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord of mercy <laughs> this last part cracks me up what goes up must come down and he's mocking saying that they won't come down but yet again they have come down here in the treasure valley make sure you're using a local expert ask yourself this question the person give me advice are they going to make money from me or are they not and that might help you determine if you should listen to them or not